is where we are right now on the um, first attempt at the llama body, the large one. Obviously got lots of <clears throat> the loop stitches going on here. Um, th that's the back. This is going to be the front. This is going to be like the neck circle where we build up from there, I think. Um, I've been stuffing this with um, like odds and ends from other projects that didn't go well. Um, and then this is the head for now. So I'm thinking it needs to be up kind of like that. The neck will obviously fit in there. Also, I definitely have to work on the ears for this guy because the ears, I, I can't get, the, get them to curve the way I want to. <clears throat> Currently they're just straight like the alpacas, but llamas, one of their kind of defining characteristics is that they have these kind of banana shaped ears. So I've got to figure it out. So the other day I was going through things and I found this notebook that I had been using starting my business. Um, so you guys can see the, the drawing of the panda there. Um, and I, I'd been like planning out different ideas of things I wanted to make. And I should, ah, there we go. This, the large llama right here. I've had this drawing in this notebook. I've been thinking about this for like three years now, at, at least a solid two. And, and I have this sketch actually in a couple of different places. I think I might have it in like three different places that like, it's just been on my mind, something I wanted to work on and something that I wasn't working on. Um, and you guys know, I ended up making the chubby llama, which you can see right here. Um, and, and I, I did this, I mean, I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. I did this one though, because I was a little bit scared about embarking on to like a full size llama. Um, and then since I had this one, I, it kind of felt like llama was maybe like check done. I, I'd achieved that, didn't actually need to make it. Um, but kind of wanting to, I don't know, like re, re-infuse the Crojo, I decided I would start again. Um, and so I actually just finished it. Um, for, sorry, I just finished rough draft, draft one, right? And so here, let me show you guys. <laughs> it's big. Um, and one of the things I've got to change about it is that it needs to be bigger. Whoops. That was my water bottle. All right, here we go. Here we go. Llama, large llama right here. Dun, 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 dun. So why does it need to be bigger? Um, llamas have a longer body. Um, and when I was making this, this one has worked pretty differently from the alpaca, actually the large alpaca, which you can see right there, just right behind the dragon. Um, it's the, the alpaca is worked from the neck down and the llama is worked from the legs up. And what that means is that it, it actually feels a lot more sturdy. Um, and, and it just kind of changes the, the configuration of what we're doing here. Um, but so I started at the legs, crocheted all four legs, crocheted them together and then started crocheting around the body going up. Um, and because I, you know, I had this much of the body done and then I did the neck when I was working on just the body, it felt large enough. It felt like it was long enough, um, to, to come across as a llama. And then I put the neck on and it takes up like half of the body. So it just, it doesn't quite feel right. Um, so I'm going to change that. It took me forever to figure out the ears, but that's fine. Right. And they're still not quite perfect. I mean, they do have that banana shape, which is good. And they kind of curl inward, which is just fine. Cause llama's ears kind of do that. I mean, they're, they, they tend to stay more like this, but I haven't been able to figure out. out. The other thing I want to change on the next version, um, is I want to do my color changes differently. And, and this leads into a little bit of a story. So once upon a time, um, my uncle, when I was growing up, had a petting zoo 
And he had all sorts of things. He had like an ostrich and two emus and ponies and goats and pigs and a deer and a skunk and llamas and just like all, all sorts of random things. Little potbelly pigs that were super cute. Um, anyway, growing up his house was the coolest place to be. And so we went over there and played all the time. I had like my favorite cousin to hang out with and they had like 15 acres or something like that and we just played and I loved it. It was the best. And he had two llamas and their names were Wimpy and Jordan. And I don't honestly remember which name goes to which one, um, but, but, but one of them was, was this coloring that I have right here, you know, or close, you know, was, was kind of a darker, more chocolatey colored llama with maybe, um, a little bit of variation kind of in the face color. It may have actually been darker rather than lighter. Um, but then the other one was, um, was brown, kind of like legs and body were brown and then neck and, and head and face were white. Um, but when I was working on this, I had the thought like the alpaca, the large alpaca, the chubby alpaca, the chubby llama, they all have kind of this color situation, like where the feet, the face and the ears are one color. And then the body is a different color. And it just feels a little expected, a little bit rote at this point. And, and then I had the idea, like, what if I just do the other llama that I, you know, grew up seeing? And so I'm really excited about the idea. So that's going to be hopefully my final draft version. Um, but of course, if you guys want to do this color situation on the final draft, even though the pattern will say something different, like, you know, loop stitches you do in one color and normal stitches you do in a different color, like pretty, pretty much how it's going to work. I'm really excited to um, show you guys the final version. This is where we are on this one. I really, obviously still work in progress. I've got the nylon hanging out, but look, I've got the body and I really, really like how it's going. But like the head just seems so small. Obviously, I don't have the ears on yet, but I'm just, <clears throat> I'm kind of disappointed. I'm going to put the ears on and see if that makes it look better, but it just seems like the proportions are just not quite right. I mean, llamas do have like pretty big, long bodies compared to their relatively small heads, but it just, it's not quite what I had envisioned. And like, if we look up here at the prototype the head is just a little bit bigger even though it's technically the same pattern well not the exact same I, I did kind of bring this one's nose down a little bit kind of yeah and i think i made the loop smaller on this one so maybe maybe it's just a perception thing <sighs> but i'm feeling a little bit discouraged all right crocheters it's done and i'm very excited about it um so the difference is obviously I did the different color changes. I'm gonna have to try and back this up even, even farther so we can see if we can talk about this. There we go. You guys can see my messy desk. Okay. Yeah. So I changed the, I did the color changes. I told you guys about like Wimpy and Jordan and wanting to try making whichever the other one was, even though I couldn't remember their names. And this is what I ended up with. Um, I did make obviously i made the body here on the final draft longer which is more true to an actual llama um oh gosh they're so cuddly and so fluffy and so soft i did make the loops on this one maybe a tad tad smaller if you look at this guy oh i didn't ever finish weaving in the ends um he's he's got longer loops so he looks a little bit just a little bit more fluffy um, but it also can get matted easier. You kind of saw like that the neck had kind of gotten almost looked like it was matted up. So, you know, so that's something that can happen on a little longer loops on this one. I was also playing around with like making this like kind of front 
two rows of fringe here like extra long because some llamas do kind of have that like extra shag there um which i think is cute but i wasn't sure if that really like needed to be written into the pattern but if you're making the llama and think i like that i want to do it just you know and let your last few rows make them a little bit longer and that will suffice to make that change i hope you guys like it i hope you'll want to make it uh, I hope your thumbs won't get too tired making these loop stitches, but that is, yeah, that is that. I've fulfilled, fulfilled that one dream for now, and, and it feels good. In the meantime, take care and love you all.